Hello. Welcome to the Cryptic Collection. My name is Kiana the Keen. Can I help you? I love her. Me too. <laughs> She's my favorite already. Kiana the King? Kiana. Kiana, Kiana. Kiana the King. Uh, Kiana the Keen. Kiana the Keen. Well, Kiana, we are um, first time purveyors of your establishment. Apparently. Martinus, Martinet, he sent us. He, he sends his regards. Martinet Ludness de Leth. Martinet sent you here. Said you might have some <clears throat> potions and fancy magic y things for us. We just might. She puts her, Put her, her, hands her arms like, out. Her, hands like. uh, her fingers are longer than they should be for yeah. a standard half elf. <laughs> um, probably about an inch to an inch and a half longer. <gasps> They're thin, and the the, the nails themselves are kind of press extend. On uh, press on fingers. Yes. <laughs> the little paintings on your yeah. Let me just call the martinet. <laughs> I love that. Um, it's a little unsettling. It's not hag level. She's not, but it's just different and strange. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so, what are you looking for? We have a few uh, curiosities. Times have been busy, so we're a bit plucked clean. But uh, perhaps the more rare, the better. Items of defense or offense. Oh. She starts putting away like a small satchel. I was I was going to talk about potions and diamonds, but what is this? I'm going to like pick up the femur and show it. I'm just drawing her in my book, like <laughs> small a hand study. Oh, I call that a kuzela. It's an original instrument. Let me show you. She reaches out and takes the fingers, kind of. Bring it back. <laughs> and as she holds it, her hair, her arms don't touch, like her hands don't touch it because her fingers have to go out far to like touch. And there are a number of like flute holes all alongside. Uh, and she blows in. You're expecting music, and instead, this like high pitched, <coughs> this like weird whale sound comes out. And as she transitions her fingers, it glides unnaturally from sound to sound. You know the um, the uh, the, it, the death whistle bless sound. You. Bless you. It's it's not as aggressive as that, but it it is not music in a classic sense. It's very unsettling. How much audible damage do we take? Uh, let's see. Here. <laughs> uh, uh, and kind of hands it back to you. That's fascinating. Does what it does it do? It makes music. <laughs> 50 gold if you're interested. I'm very interested. Good, good. <laughs> what else do you got? This is this is exciting. Uh, well, she takes the satchel back up and opens it up, and there are uh, looks like four potions in there. Uh, there's uh, a potion of healing, two potions of greater healing, and a potion of uh, superior healing. Mm. Uh, One, two, of them. Yes. No diamonds, I assume, either. That's like we have to ask. No diamonds in that one. It's okay, it's fair. We're all right, she's not great. Oh, oh, oh! Do you have a fancy bowl? A what? Uh, a yes. fancy bowl. A fancy bowl. Yes. A bowl. A bowl? I think I can provide that. What kind of bowl are you looking for? And diamonds I can also acquire in. So I may have to remove them from the setting, depending on how expensive you're looking. Well, it depends on what you got. And I honestly, I'm still just sort of captivated with this thing. What, uh, what other? The you seem to have taste. Uh, Thank you. I'm just kind of curious if you got anything else so impressive just hanging around. Oh, you got some time then. Now I do. <laughs> <laughs> Most of well, the house yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the the standard potion of healing is fifty gold pieces. Uh, the greater are one fifty, and the uh, superior is four fifty. These are prices, as a friend of Ludinus's. Understood. Thank you for that. Um, a gem encrusted bowl. A bowl with gem crusting. Crusty gems. Crusty, Crusty gems. Crusty gems yeah. on the bowl. Yeah. Uh, to what worth are you looking for? A thousand gold. A thousand. I do not have that at the moment, but if you give me a couple of days, I could probably procure something similar. I think I have that much money. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, like, no, I know, but they have a similar, similar amount. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. Certainly take all of those healing potions. It's uh-huh. 114 gold each. Done. We're all chipping in? We're all yes. chipping in. 114 huh? gold. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, and I'm just throwing on the fifty for the for the for the for the for the, for the flute because I need that. Go for it. I need that. Um, 114. That's 164 gold. Uh, but I want to see what else you got. This, as she pulls up this like small black marble about that big, um, kind of sets it down. It's like a black and gray color. Uh, there was a larger set, but. Uh, uh, I've had a couple of break-ins and had to use a few of them, but these are uh, referred to as beads of force. Mm. Um, this, you're unhappy with something, you throw it at it, and it becomes not a problem for a short time. Uh, beads of force? Beads of force. 250, but I only have one. And that's with like, the friend deal? Yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah, I'll take it. All right. 250, is that what you said? Uh-huh. 250. Do you have any there. gemstones? Do you have any amber? Ah, uh, there is amber, yes, I can provide amber. How much are you looking? Uh, I would like five individual pieces, uh, uh-huh. a minimum of yes. um, 200 <laughs> gold worth. All right. Roughly. That can be provided. She goes behind the curtain for a bit and comes back. And has in her hand, her arm, her fingers kind of unfurl oh, slowly, and in the palm, uh, you can see these. They're different sizes, but they're all very large and polished pieces of amber. And kind of lets them cascade under the table in front. A slide. <laughs> 200 gold. Oh, she scoops them in. If you have a, a 350 gold piece diamond or a 500 gold piece diamond or one of each, we would happily take it. Uh, I have a 350 gold piece. We'll take it. That I can handle. You want that one? It goes and retrieves you such a diamond it. for you. It's uh, it's not cut. It's a larger diamond, but it's uncut, which is why the price isn't for. Um, so it's a little rough, but it'll work for any sort of you know material component elements you require. Oh, I know um, you've got platinum. Never mind. And this is the this is the interesting one. This is hard to find. <laughs> It requires some creativity. <laughs> and sets this small vial down. Uh, now this here in particular, you see in this kind of jar, it's, it, it's, a, it's a larger vial or a small jar, there is this like viscous, milky fluid in it that kind of has, has a mercury-type movement to it, but it is a milky white color. This is an adhesive. When it's placed between two objects, they bond forever. Like if, if like we put it like someone, me and someone not, and then we stood next to each other, we would permanently be together forever? If you wait the minute for it to set, yeah. Is there any way to... to, to, to there is. You like, have, there are some... Other magical solvents, like a universal solvent, could perhaps remove it, or an oil of etherealness to lose the physicality of one such object. And there's always a wish. That's too mean, even. Like, like, never mind. How like, much is that? It takes a minute to set. But any strength, any strength, and they won't be able to pull it apart. Impossible outside of those scenarios. How, how much? Set? How much? It's only two ounces, so it's two uses. But it'll run you for the. Entire jar, six hundred gold. I'll go have these with you. It's oh, my money's going to be gone, but I'll, it's well, really cool. I'll just cool. pay for the whole thing myself. That's really good. I think I'll put down two hundred for it. I'll put down four. Do it. Pull it between your butt cheeks and never poop again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, get those fingers away from me! <laughs> you want to keep it? Sure. Okay. Don't know what we'll use it for, but it'll it's be fun. Be amazing. It presents itself every day. You have uh, cleared me of my current uh, magical uh, implements, but I do have many other trinkets and 
fun things. You, in particular, were interested in some of my other personal creations. Oh, this is, I'm very excited to learn how to play this. This is going to be great. Do you uh, have, uh, you, you like making musical instruments, yes? Oh, well, that is one thing I pass my time with, yes. Do you have a, do you have a harp? <laughs> I can make one. What can you make it out of? She kind of looks over across the table at all the intricately carved bones that she has laid out and goes, out of that. And she points to, there's a, a large oxen skull with a big curved, Ooh. a set of curved horns that loop around the back of it. Um, and she points to one of the large horns coming out of the side of the skull. That's actually exactly what I was hoping you could make it out of. A skull harp? It may take a couple of days, but I can do it. Well, I guess uh, you're making, you're coming back for the bowl, or? Oh, no? well, uh, yeah. But we're probably going to. Uh, I, I'm, the order uh, in. I, I would say put the order in because yeah. there's there's some back and forth, and we should take a couple days to. Com a commission for a creation like that would run about a uh, friend's price, of course. As friends of Ludinus, I'd say 100 gold pieces. But if we're buying the gem-crusted bowl, though, what if I were to make give a persuasion you? check? <laughs> she lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! No, she doesn't. Nope. Natural one. Uh, yeah. That's all. Like all I'm rolling lately. I know. I'm so sorry. Like, what is happening with my dice, y'all? Maybe you just need to go down to one set. Go back to basics. I'm trying to limit. It? No, okay, you're okay. Not. Tell you what, tell you what. You've got whole out. generations and families of dice over there. Should I keep Fuck this sake. one in here or should I just switch There's to this There's gerrymandering one. going on in your portion you, of the I'm table. I'm going to take you to the, to the oldest church in Los Angeles. Tonight is a full moon. Maybe after on. the game, you need to bathe them in the, I will in perform a ritual. The House of Representatives <laughs> building under the desk. <laughs> you, uh, what do you charge for uh, adding runes or anything like that? Oh, that's that's part of the process. It's part I don't. Of the process. I don't make creations without adorning them with art. You know what I'm going to do then? I'm going to give you a little bit extra. I'm mm -hmm. going to give you 125 gold. And if there's anything very special that you want to um, add to it. Uh, I'd be fine with that. Any flair that you and think she, of. She, she takes a very long look over you entirely, between your armor, the outfit you're wearing, the the force of personality you hold, and kind of the imposing figure that you are, and looks back over the table. I think I can improvise. Okay. She accepts the gold. <laughs> <laughs>